Yeah, that made me, I, I felt dirty watching that. That was weird. I don't know. I wasn't quite, like, I, I'm not, I, I don't, I didn't really want to watch that, man. That was, I felt, I felt dirty, you know, like, I felt weird watching that. It was strange. I did watch the fight, you know, I'm a massive fan of Chuck Liddell. I've always loved him. Like, he literally, like, yeah, he was my all-time favorite fighter growing up. Uh, he's pretty much what got me, you know, right into MMA. So I didn't want to see that fight. Like, I mean, obviously I was going to watch, but, you know, I wish it didn't happen because I knew uh, Chad, I, I knew uh, Chuck was just going to get, you know, uh, knocked out, to be honest, just purely on the fact that he hasn't stayed competitive at all. You know, Tito's still sort of training, and I knew he would, he would be a lot faster in there, and I, I knew he would catch Chuck. So I, I didn't want to see it, and uh, it's exactly how I thought it would go. Yeah, um, not surprising, man. Like, Poor Liddell, he's he's got no chin anymore. Like he should have been done a long time ago. And uh, yeah, it's just it's kind of sad to see him go down that way. Yeah, Chuck Liddell. Yeah, I started fighting like 10, 11 years ago, so I've watched him, you know, climb, get to where he was at, and he was kind of like the representative, you know, 10 years ago for MMA. Like Chuck Liddell was like awesome, man, and now. You know, see him go down like this, just to make a buck, kind of sucks. And yeah, it's 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 not good. It's sad. It's kind of sad. But you know, he's got to he's got to do what he's got to do, man. If he's struggling to make some money, like sure, man, I I totally understand. But yeah, see him go down like that, kind of sucks. My reaction to the highlight was, you know. Those guys are legends, and they're still going at it at 40 years old. And I believe, I don't know, it's just a lot of people crapping on them. And I just think it's a lot of a lot of courage for both of those guys to go out there and do what the, they did. And it's a win for each of them. Um, they're legends. They helped build the sport. Um, you know, I think it was awesome. Either way, whoever won, good for them. They're still fighting hard, training hard. And it's crazy that they're going at it. <laughs> I, was, I was actually there. Um, yeah, uh, to be honest, I called... So I called Tito knocking him out in the first round. Um, I, I, Chuck, Chuck did train. You know, he looked as though he had trained. He looked in good shape. But at the end of the day, he's, he's a 48-year-old man going in there against a 43-year-old man. Uh, he hadn't fought in eight years, and he hasn't done any anything to do with combat. You know, so I, I, I personally, I don't think he should have took the fight. But at the end of the day, we, we all need money. You know, we're only getting paid, and and he got paid. So hopefully, he can take that money and invest wisely, and and, and not have to go anywhere near a cage again. I, I watched it, but I didn't watch it live, but there was enough streamable stuff out there. I was able to watch the whole fight, which was a whopping, what, like, two or three minute fight. Um, it, uh, the best, oh man, what's it? They're survivalists, man. They're, they, these guys are survivors of the sport. And uh, for the people in their age who have been through what they've gone through, to be able to step in that cage and do what they did is I will hand it to them is impressive, but I do think it should have been left at the legacy that they had it when they left the, you know, the sport in their prime. Um, I think that they should have just kind of called it quits. Maybe maybe done a charitable thump, you know, something that that's cool. Um, but uh, you know, Chuck Chuck was bad. I don't know. I don't, it almost looks staged a little bit, man. I just I hate to say it, but Chuck just. There was no, no fire, no kick that he had before. But he's 48 years old. What do you expect? I actually didn't get get to watch it. I seen the highlights though. Um, I seen that it was over real quick. Um, I was excited. I, I've always been a, like in the other two fights. I was always rooting for Tito. I was always a fan of him. So it's good to see him go out there and get a that final win.